with me. And I'm asking him as the Minister of Defence whether he believed that my response was entirely appropriate. That's a question from a Member of Parliament to a Minister. Order, order, order. There won't be... I don't care which member of the Labour front bench is not interested. I am Speaker, as Speaker, am interested. And I think the, the point made by the Honourable Rodney Hyde is not unreasonable that what he's asked as a member of the House is whether the Minister of Defence feels what he said to him as Minister of Defence was uh, treated uh, appropriately. Uh, he's not being asked to, co to comment on something the Member of Parliament has said publicly that would not be his responsibility, simply his communications, whether they are treated, in his view, as Minister of, Def of Defence appropriately. And I, I realise these things are fine line, and I acknowledge I'm not finding this absolutely easy, but I think that is a reasonable question for the Minister to have to be, to be asked to respond to. The Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. Mr Speaker, to the extent they were, that they related to my areas of ministerial responsibility, yes, they were uh, dealt with appropriately, both uh, by myself and Mr Hyde. Point of order, the Honourable David Parker. Uh, Mr Speaker, in respect of the issue that you uh, or may report back to the House on, it seems to me that the Minister, in response to that question to Mr Hyde, actually shows that he had ministerial responsibility in respect of the earlier issues. Because if he was, if he was uh, within responsibility to answer that question from Mr Hyde, how can that be different to the answers that he was uh, asked to give in respect to Mr Hodgson's questions about other comments made to him in his capacity as Minister? To the point of order. I'll hear the Honourable Rodney Hyde, but I don't want to take too much further time. No, I appreciate that. Because we, uh, Mr Speaker, the questions that I asked actually were about the behaviour of the Minister of Defence and were about his opinion of whether he thought the response of someone else was appropriate. The questions that the opposition were asking was actually about a document in which the Minister of Defence had no hand in preparing. Order. No, no, I do not want to spend more time on this. I've undertaken I'll look into the matter. The issue that I'm particularly wanting to look into, because I'm satisfied about that last question, I think the Minister of Defence has responsibility for what he says to other members and uh, to question him whether he's happy with the way they've treated that, uh, that information, I, I think is not unreasonable. The issue that I'm wanting to look into further is what responsibility the minister... The minister certainly has responsibility for anything the associate minister says as associate minister. What I'm wanting to look into further, because this is an important matter, is whether a document being referred to was prepared by the minister as associate minister or a member of a political party. And, and we well know in this House there is a difference between a minister acting in their role as minister and their role as a member, in some cases, the leader of a political party. And I want to, and I think it's important enough, this issue, for me to, to satisfy myself uh, the basis of, of the proper way of looking at that. And I don't want to give a, an incorrect ruling to the House. I promise the Honourable Member I'll investigate it and I'll come back to, if it's important for the House, I'll come back to the House, otherwise I'll come back to the, to the member on it. Order. Point of order, Honourable David Parker. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker, for that clarification. I suppose the point I was trying to make is that the point that Mr Hodgson was making uh, wasn't about the source of the uh, quote that was being put to, uh, to the Minister, which was uh, the belatedly, the, the subsequently prepared document. He was actually questioning... Uh, the Minister in respect of the statement as recorded in that document, which was a statement that was put to the Minister in his capacity as, uh, as Minister, according to that later document. So it's not the later document, it's, it, that's, that's just a the source member, of the information. Well, the Member is simply relitigating the issue. I've acknowledged that I need, to, I need to satisfy myself the status of, of such a document, and whether it quotes anyone is, is irrelevant if the document is not a document uh, relating to a Minister. If it's, a, if it's a document relating to a private member, especially with respect to political party matters, then it's, it's not, you know, on the face of it, I would suggest it's not a matter for which a minister can be responsible, even if such a document is, is quoting the minister. If they say they're not responsible for what a doc, that document contains, then that would, on the face of it, be the end of the matter. But I want to look into it to make sure that my instincts are not wrong and they may well be wrong and I'm prepared to accept that I am wrong and, and I'll certainly come back to the member asking the question if it uh, has importance for the House I'll come back to the House on the matter. A point of order Mr Speaker. Well, look I, 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 don't, I can't imagine what the point of order is 
and I'd ask the Honourable David Parker to be careful not to keep wasting the time of the House. Point, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable David Parker. Uh, point, point, point of order, I, did, I, I didn't... Um, I perhaps didn't explain myself clearly, sir, because the point I was making was not uh, was that the, the, the point of order that, with respect, I think the minister has to consider, it doesn't relate to the source of the document that Heather Roy prepared, which is a subsequent document. The underlying issue that the minister can be questioned on in my submission is the quote in that document, which is a quote of her earlier statement to the Minister of Defence. And, and my submission is that the question for you is whether the statements that Heather Roy said that she made to the Minister, it's whether those are within the responsibility of the Minister, not the later document. That's precisely what I've indicated and I'm prepared not, to look at further. Question number... A supplementary question, the Honourable Rodney Hyde. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Defence... Is the Minister of Defence satisfied that the concerns that he took to ministerial services were handled with the utmost professionalism, integrity and competence by ministerial services? The Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. The well, Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. Uh, and Mr Speaker, um, I pass them to ministerial services. Of course, they have their own standards to whether they're appropriately handled. Um, I can't actually speak on behalf of ministerial services. Question number nine, Colin King. Thank you.